Hey, it's Lucas Sacco. Uh, I'm just coming in today to show you guys a cool little thing that's going on in the OCG with a, a new little OTK line with Fire Kings. Uh, later this week and next week, I should have some, some Fire King videos out just with a basic explanation of the deck, some deck list options, uh, just the combos all around with a spreadsheet. Uh, I'm going to start doing YouTube a lot more, um, but let's just go ahead and get into this so we don't waste any time. Uh, in this instance, I'm just going to show you the easiest line. This is playing through through Ash Nibiru, and you can do this at any point in the combo. Uh, this line is very similar to like Selene access code type things, um, and you can get there off of any three bodies. I'm just going to show you the probably the easiest way. Just go Bonfire, adding Populous. Populous is going to trigger Special Summon itself. What Populous does on summon is it adds a Snake Eye spell, which is obviously going to be the original. This is the one they use with the Diabell Star package. Uh, next, we're going to go and link one. And to any link one, doesn't really matter. The important thing is that we're doing it to activate the effect of Populous. Put itself in the spell trap zone. Then we're going to activate original to send the Populous to graveyard. So we're getting extra value out of this Populous. It's basically uh, being two bodies here. Uh, we're going to summon Fire King Ponyx. This is the new card that allows the, the deck to, to function because it gives you access to the field spell. Uh, while also giving you access to the field spell, it gives you access to the new card, Sanctuary of the Fire Kings. And this card is basically just the field spell. It gives you an extra disruption on your opponent's turn. But the main reason it's good is because of its access to the field spell. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and activate it. Destroy Ponix. We're going to add Garunix to hand, which will trigger Garunix effect to summon. Since a fire was destroyed by battle or card effect. On summon, Garunix destroys one from your deck. So you can actually go ahead and destroy Arvata or Kirin here, doesn't matter. If your opponent has something you want to destroy, you can destroy the um, Kirin instead, but we're just going to go for the Arvata so we can show off the bodies there. Oops, a little misclick. Um, now, I'm just going to do this to show the body example. This isn't uh, really necessary to, to take anything with the Hita. Just doing it once again to show the. Uh, examples of the bodies and what all we can do with it so we're going to link into Hita, take an ash blossom this is just basic link climbing think of it as a, a charmer into selene um, this selene is going to summon out any fire monster from the graveyard because it's a little bit of a broken card and uh normally if this was selene we would just go into access code however since access code cannot be made since promethean Princess has a little restriction that says we're locked into fires while it's face up on the field. Uh, very similar to Pisty with dragons. We're going to go into Salamangrate Raging Phoenix. Uh, this card has random text involving fires getting destroyed, so it has synergy here, but its main purpose is going to be to be a Zeolantis. Zeolantis is going to activate to banish all the monsters on the field, including the Nibiru, and then summon them all back. So the Nibiru is going to get special summon back. We're going to special summon back the Garunix and the Zeolantis. Make sure we put this Zeolantis in this zone here. That's important. Um, and then because a fire monster was summoned, or I'm sorry, because a monster was special summoned to our opponents, we can actually trigger the second effect of Promethean Princess on our turn. So we're going to special summon this out, destroy the Garunix, destroy the Nibiru. And because um, a fire was destroyed, we can trigger the effect of Raging Phoenix to summon out. So now we can go battle phase. And uh, keep in mind, at the start of the battle phase, we're actually going to get an additional pop because of the hidden effect of Zelantis here. This card has so much text on it. Okay, during the battle phase, quick effect, you can destroy cards on the field up to the number of co-linked monsters on the field. Since we can summon back the uh, princess to the Zelantis zone, we'll actually get an additional pop as we enter battle phase. Very neat there. So we can have one pop from Kirim while doing this line. We can have one pop from the princess, and we can have one pop from Zelantis. So that's three pops. This is also like 10,000 damage. Just a ton of damage going in there. So this is a very neat line to kill, very similar to the access code line. That's all I was going to show with you guys today. I'll have some other stuff coming up this week, and thank you for watching.